Welcome back, everybody, in the kitchen with pastry chef Lindsay Brooks from Runaway Spoon. Always so great to see you, Lindsay. You too, Amy. Thank you. Well, when we were talking about this theme, I, I, I thought of you right away because you do so many theme events, and I think that that whole theme thing really is on trend these days. It is because everyone wants something a little different, mm -hmm. and you don't know where to get started if you're planning a party. So pick a theme and have fun with it. Run with it. What could be more fun than a '50s theme? You know. You know, I'm not quite sure. Maybe we can get into the <laughs> '60s or '70s, where I'm a little bit more familiar with. <laughs> <laughs> but the '50s is that great classic comfort. Food like our um, turkey tetrazzini or chicken tetrazzini yeah. casserole um, and I think of yeah some great pies and cakes and I actually in the 60s um, the, this carried right on in because I was a huge fan of Boston cream pie I love it and it, you know my mom and I would go to a coffee shop or a diner and I'd see a piece of that with the chocolate on the top and the cream yep, in the middle yep. Ooh, I had to have a piece but you'd never see it around anymore. No, it will, and you know, it's a little bit tedious. There's a lot of different steps to it, and it's got to be a day or two in advance that you're making all these different components. So I think that might be why that it kind of got shunned away as we go to more quick and easy things. But you know what? There's something about going back to your roots and just, you know, making a cake from scratch, making a custard from scratch, the chocolate ganache from scratch, and, uh, and putting it together. Good weekend uh, thing, or if you're having a 50s-inspired party, what a, what a wow on dessert. So, all right, put me to work here. Okay, so you're going to start making the custard filling. Okay. This is something that you need to make a day in advance because okay. it needs to chill in the refrigerator for at okay. least two or three hours. You're going to go by putting in um, a cup and a half of uh, cream or milk, whatever you have in hand. Okay. Lamer's heavy cream. All right. Yep. You got a cup of sugar, a fourth of a cup cornstarch. Um, it's going to go in there, and then you're going to put your eggs in here, too. This is six yolks. And they all go in at the same time? They do. Okay. And you're going to heat that up until it comes to a boil, do you whisking whisk it, it okay. the entire time. Okay. So. And then we'll add these ingredients a little bit later, which is butter and vanilla. And these are egg yolks only? Egg yolks only. Okay. Six four. of them. Okay. Or six. Six me. of them, yeah. Okay. So it's a thick, thick uh, custard for the center. Okay. I'll get to work on this, and you get to work on the other stuff. Okay. So now we're going to make cake. Um, Homemade cake from you scratch? Know, I have to make cakes from scratch. I can't use any cheaters here. Um, so, If um, you were a person like me who wanted to take maybe a shortcut in this one, a yellow cake mix? A yellow cake mix would be okay. Okay, <laughs> all right. Baked into two, two eight inch pans. Okay, yep. all right. Well, if you're going to go through the custard and the chocolate, maybe you could, you know, just take a shortcut on the cake. You could. You okay. definitely could. And all if right. you're somebody that struggles with this, making cake, but maybe you want to try custard, go for that too. Okay, so, all right. Butter and sugar are going to go in there. We're going to cream those together. Okay. And then we have three eggs, whole eggs, we're going to add to this as well. Yeah, Boston uh, cream pie isn't actually in a pie form. No, it's a it's, cake. It's a cake, but with a wonderful custard layer yes. in the center, like a, a think, pie filling. Okay, if you think will. like. Uh, those, you know, uh, filled donuts with the chocolate and the cream inside the, you know, not the whipped cream, the custard. The custard. That's a, if you like that, you're going to love That's this. That's what we're going for. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Let's scrape the sides here. And then, of course, the chocolate topping. It's got a chocolate frosting on the top. But that's one thing I'm not a fan of. Uh, I know in a pinch, okay, but not a big fan of canned frosting. I really do like homemade frosting. Homemade so, frosting is definitely yep. going to help make a difference, yep. too. All right. So now we're going to add a pinch of vanilla to my cake batter. And we're waiting for this. Do we want it to boil? Is that what we want this to do? Yeah, we're looking okay. for it to come to a boil. And then okay. the eggs will cook, and then the starch will also start to thicken okay. it up, too. Okay, cool. So now we've got the eggs and the vanilla in here. We're going to add half of our flour. Okay, uh, I'm totally going to make a confession here. I rarely make a cake from scratch. Uh -huh. But I'm looking at the ingredients, and it's nothing real fancy. I've got all the stuff. You know, you, you, you really need to have the eggs and the milk if you're making it from a box anyway. So now you just have to measure out your flour and your sugar okay. and baking powder. Okay. Um, so we added half of our flour. We had baking powder in there. I'm going to add half of our milk. It's going to go in here. Mix it a little bit, then add the rest of the ingredients. Okay. And it was real important to have that milk warm, right? Nope, actually, no. that one doesn't matter, but we're going to make the chocolate sauce. The chocolate sauce, I saw. I know we're warming. Needs to okay. Be warm. okay. Okay. So throw all those ingredients in. Really, making cake from scratch isn't so hard. You just put it all in the mixer, it'll, it'll do its thing. Okay, so then we've got the two pans. Yep, so then you want to spray uh, two eight inch rounds okay. and divide the batter between the two pans. Okay. It doesn't make a ton of batter, so it's just a thin layer that's okay. going to go down um, because, again, 
we got to fill this with custard, so we don't want it to get too high. Here's my other worry: getting those cakes out of the pans. Uh, it's you know, if it's a scratch cake, is that any more difficult than a you know box cake mix? Uh, no, pan spray. Okay. Just make sure your pan spray. Okay. Or you know, old school fifties would be take some butter or Crisco, yeah. run it in yeah. there, and a little bit of flour too. That okay. will work just fine for you. Okay. Once you get your batter done, put it into your pans, bake it right away, 350, and it takes about 20 minutes or so. You can do the toothpick test on it to make sure that it's ready. Here it is. They're beautiful and golden and all yellow oh, and pretty. So we've got our cake ready. We're yep. working on the custard, but yep. like I said, the custard's going to have to sit overnight. Okay. So once it thickens up a little bit, we'll add these last couple ingredients. But ultimately, you're going to look for a really thick kind of custard Ooh, just like this. It's beautiful. So it's, it's, it's like kind of a gourmet pudding, if yeah, you will. Yeah, yeah, um, exactly. It's delightful in flavor. Ooh, okay. And now we also need our chocolate sauce to go on top. Okay. So this was the cream that we warmed up. Okay. It's equal parts cream and chocolate. Okay. So this is just heavy cream that we heated in the microwave and then some really nice uh, dark, dark, dark chocolate chips. Bittersweet chips. chocolate. So it, yep. it's kind of almost like a ganache that goes on the top, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So you're going to put the chocolate in there, mix it until it's nice and smooth. Sometimes the cream might not be warm enough, in which case just throw it in the microwave for another 5-10 seconds just so you get that chocolate melted. But you want to be careful not to go too hot with it, of okay. course. Okay. All right. We'll start assembling. So now this is the fun part, to be okay. able to assemble the Boston cream pie. Start by putting uh, one of your cakes down. Right in the center of your pie or your cake uh, plate, excuse me. And it's melted perfectly, actually. Oh, perfect. So. And then we're going to take that custard, smear that custard all the way through the center. And we've talked about this before, how rustic is hugely back. Exactly. So the 50 desserts that we grew up with that may not have looked like they came from a fancy, fancy bakery, that's a okay. That's, that's what we're going yeah, for. Yeah, exactly. All right, so spread a little bit of that. Uh, Custard out through the center there. And then we want to take that other layer of that cake. This is starting to boil now. Perfect. And it's starting to thicken up. So do you take it off the heat when you add the butter and the vanilla? Yep. So okay. once it thickens up, we take it off. We add the butter and the vanilla. You want it thicker than this? Just well, a pinch okay. longer if you okay. have the time. You want to make sure the eggs cook. And the eggs okay. cook around 130 degrees. So okay. that's kind of what you're looking for okay. there. So I'll pull that off and you can keep assembling and All I'll right. add my butter and vanilla. Is that what we're adding here? Butter Perfect. and vanilla. Yep. Okay. So then I'm just going to put my other layer of cake on top here. No more custard. That's only in the center layer. Okay. And then we take that wonderful chocolate sauce. Mm. And this is where you can kind of have a little bit of fun. It should get a little messy. We want it to kind of droop down the sides. You're not icing the cake completely, okay. but you want it to look comfortable, if you will. Yeah. Comfy, right? Kind of have that drip going. And then this you, this cake needs to be refrigerated. It does. It needs to set up for at least a half an hour in the fridge. And remember, your custard you have to make the day before. Okay. So and then this needs to sit in the fridge for at least a half an hour or, you know, in that morning and then that night you can serve well, it. Well, so. I remember going, you know, with my mom to a coffee shop or a diner and this cake would always be in the refrigerated, you know, that cooler maybe that spun around and I would think, Mom, I really want a piece of that. Yes, yes. Yeah, after you eat your veggies. Um, so uh, that that's how it would be. They store it in the refrigerator. It's a really stable cake, so yeah. it'll last you for a few days. Ooh, and then that'll uh, keep it nice and moist. And then you cut it um, after it sets up, and you get to see the custard in there. And oh, it's ooey. It ooey is wonderful. delightful. Oh. And you know, it takes a little bit of time, but if you're somebody who likes to be in the kitchen, this is a fun recipe. It is. And it really it's, a, is. it's a classic. Oh, no, it sure is. Uh, three bean salad. I remember that. Yep, yep. That's another one that we're going to bring on back, add a new twist to it. Okay, sounds good. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back.